Okie dokie, uh, welcome or welcome back to another one of my videos. So tonight's going to be a really, really quick uh, video. It has been hot as hell the past few uh, weeks actually here in Europe. So um, yeah, uh, recording with an aircon on in the background is not always the uh, easiest thing to do. And if you guys do hear something in the background, I've got a new puppy running around. So I've got a little bell just to make sure. Wherever she is, I can hear her because she's really small and uh, might not always see where I'm walking and might just step on her because she's really small. In any case, um, so I want to speak about the ISC squared uh, SACP exam. Now, this exam is basically a step up to Security Plus. Um, Security Plus is from Comptia, of course, and it is fairly uh, entry level when it comes to when it comes to some other certifications uh, compared to other certifications for for that matter. Uh, so with this, you need one year of uh, experience. However, it would be waived if you have a bachelor's degree. Or you have, of course, one year of working experience within the seven domains uh, that it covers. Furthermore to that, uh, there's also a fee that you need to pay to be part of the uh, ISC squared, uh, which is part of their membership. So it is a bit more complicated, the, the entire process, because you also need to be vetted you have to submit your CV to prove that you have working experience within those seven domains, or you could uh, have one of your friends who are uh, currently certified in the SSCP or CISSP or any of the other ISC squared certifications actually vouch for your experience and be approved that way. However, this is not all doom and gloom if you do not have the one year of experience. What you can do is you can still apply and go through the entire process and you'll then become a, an associate of the ISC squared uh, SACP or CISSP or any of the certifications that you do. Everything is explained in the CBK. So there are two books that you'll need. It's the uh, C original CBK uh, this you can find on Amazon, we'll uh, go through that just now, and as well the uh, official test guide. So this has got a whole bunch of uh, tests and mock exams that you can practice on, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to switch over the scene, and here we go. So this is the uh, ISC squared website, and if you go down here... Uh, register and prepare for the exam. So here's your seven uh, domains over here listed nicely. So if you've worked on a help desk somewhere for, for one year or more in access control or networks and communication. So if you've worked in a network, uh, in a NOC or a SOC uh, of any form of help desk that way and you can prove that you have done it that way. Maybe your manager can write you a letter via HR, you know, with a company letterhead and all of that. You can actually become fully certified in, uh, in SECP through the ISC squared. Now, is there a drawback of being an associate and fully SECP certified? Not really, because at the end of the day, you're still passing the exam. You're still validating that you know how to basically practice what they have taught you. So when someone says, oh no, but you need five years of experience for this or one year of experience for that, and it's really, it's not that big of a deal. And also proving that you've got that experience, uh, if you do have that experience, is not that difficult. ISC uh, actually sends you an email with the entire process that you need to face, uh, that you need to follow. This process can take several weeks or it can go really, really quickly. Uh, in my case, I think it took about 10 working days, if I remember correctly. R roughly, give it, give it two or three weeks. Uh, it depends really 
on on you know how busy they are as well because it's it's pretty much on them and how they how quickly they can verify your information and and etc so when it comes to uh, studying as well i said the official cbk so you can get this off of uh, amazon uh here in europe it is uh, 63 euros for the bundle i'm not sure what it would be in the uk or in the us uh, in south africa and the rest of africa it would be a little bit more of a mission to to find it however your online stores uh in in south africa or wherever um or in nigeria or wherever you might be viewing from if you're from africa hi how are you doing um hope winter is treating you well uh, for the, the South Africans, how you're doing. In any case, uh, so yeah, you can follow the, the CBK uh, as well as Mike Chapel on LinkedIn has got some videos there that you can follow through LinkedIn Learning uh, as well as a couple of other websites. As long as it is pretty much from Mike Chapel, you are sorted. Uh, he really covers everything. Um, there's not really that much. Remember that this certification is pretty much uh, as well as just like the it's a it's a baby CISSP basically. It's a mile wide, inch deep. Uh, you're gonna cover a lot of topics. Let's uh, hop back onto the onto the domains. Just have a look at the domains again. So you've got security operations and administration, you've got access control, you've got risk identification, monitoring and analysis. So this would basically be like uh, SIEM events, uh, SIEM uh, incident response. You need to know the, how incident response works. If something happens to a computer, you know, what are the correct steps you need to follow? Cryptography where would you use cryptography what type of cryptography would you use network communications and communication security how would you secure email basically uh, systems and application security you know using passwords using mfa etc so look if you've come to click on this video to find out things about the exam i'm not going to divulge any information regarding the exam. I can tell you that the exam is quite lengthy and you need to really uh, basically practice uh, with, of course, the official guide uh, questions and be ready to answer a lot of questions for a long period of time. You have to be uh, almost like how marathon runners prepare for a marathon. You sort of need to pre prepare uh, for a marathon of exam questions. Uh, furthermore than that, I cannot divulge any more information and I will not divulge any more information. Uh, this is not easy. Uh, it's also not hard. If you put in the, the work, you will have the results that you want. So, so there's that. Uh, I'm not going to speak about, uh, about the exam any further. However, how did I find the entire experience? It was actually really rewarding. Uh, I've got multiple years of experience in the industry. I have done the Security Plus and a few other uh, security certifications. I actually did enjoy the SACP. I found it uh, very general uh, in, in the sense of uh, throughout my years, I found that I was already practicing a lot that was taught in this so it is a very practical uh, exam to follow uh, if you are new to security and you want to get into security because this is the other thing i had a question on my previous uh, video that i made to to like what what should you study or how should you get into security this 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 is how you do it this is the key this is where you start this is the foundation this is where everything starts into cybersecurity. Remember, cybersecurity, information security, for, for that matter, is a very broad topic, and I will make another video about that. But this is not offensive. This is not defensive. Uh, it is not proactive. It is not reactive. It is everything. It is literally everything. Uh, it covers so, so many topics and 
it's topics that you need to know. If you want to get into security, this is what you need to know. Uh, building on top of this, you'd go to the next level would be the CISSP, which uh, adds another domain uh, and a, a lot more information. Would I say, you know, skip this and go directly to the CISSP? No. Uh, do the SCCP first and then the CISSP. And I would actually say the moment you have completed the SACP, start studying for the CISSP. Because if the, the, the content of this is fresh in your mind, you will be perfectly fine to pass a CISSP, whether you have five years of experience, 10 years of experience, no experience whatsoever, you'll be fine. Build on, build on that momentum that you have. So that's my advice for currently and going forward. If you want to get into security, this is how you do it. Um, have a look at the, the ISC Squared website. Uh, check out where you can possibly get these books. Uh, have a look on Amazon. Uh, follow Mike Chappell as well. IT Pro TV, they are also a great resource if you do have IT Pro TV. Uh, the guys there have done an amazing job to cover all topics and they cover it in depth and they explain everything nicely and they've got notes and everything that you can follow as well. So that's pretty much it from me for tonight. Uh, there's a few other things that I'm currently working on. It is going very, very slowly. I do apologize for that. It is extremely hot and doing recording under studio lights and headphones and all of that, it, it gets really, really hot and I have to do it late at night when it's nice and cool and quiet. So yeah. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one. Cheers.